My name is Paul Stetrick with Nepsey. Uh, what you're looking at here is a capacitor uh, bank uh, meant for testing our uh, iron core reactors or uh, for our vendors to, to test their iron core reactors. The capacitors are set up to compensate for the reactive power requirements of the uh, reactor. Uh, so the reactor consumes bars and the capacitor will put out bars and this way you can have a smaller test set. So I'm going to explain the box. First thing I want to talk about is it's dangerous. There's a lot of microfarads here. Uh, after you de-energize the system, wait at least five minutes for it to uh, for you to come in contact with it. Additionally, uh, the terminal should be shorted uh, before uh, you start to handle the capacitor because a trap charge could be deadly. So I, I want to stress that it's very important that uh, all trap charge be removed. Uh, if you have an iron core reactor connected to this test set here, will be in parallel. This is a, a, a parallel set of capacitors and a parallel set of capacitors on this side. The reactor here uh, in parallel with that, and then it connects to your power source. Um, so be aware that the that after you disconnect your power source, the, the reactor will act as a discharging means, but it will take some time. And before handling, always uh, make sure that the terminals are shorted before touching it. Uh, so I can't overstress that. So the first thing I want to note is that uh, we have a row of capacitors here and a row of capacitors here. We have connected all the neutrals together, okay, on the inside. All the neutrals are connected uh, on this side and on this side. In fact, I will get these labels so it says neutral and neutral. And uh, the... Uh, these are your, what I would call, are the phase connections. You can connect on the other end or on this end. You can, uh, you can connect your, your phase connector. So phase and phase. So we could connect just between here and here and pick up this row of capacitors, or we can connect between here and here and pick up this row of capacitors. We have the neutrals all interconnected. You do not need to disconnect those. You can leave them in place. If you're making any connections on the terminals, the terminals are delicate. Don't over torque the terminals. If you over torque the terminals, you will break the terminals off and will have a leaky capacitor. So please be careful when uh, tightening these screws to just go slightly snug. Each capacitor is only putting out 50 or 75 amps. It does not take a lot of torque to accomplish that uh, amount of current carrying capacity. So part of your test setup is going to be to reactively compensate for the reactants of your reactor. Uh, what I have done is on the side of the capacitors, if you come around here, Jess, uh, I have written down K bar guys on this side. I've written down that this capacitor is rated 180 K bar at 1,000 volts, 100 K bar at 750 volts, 100 K bar at 750 volts, and so on. And I've also noted that there, what the capacitor ratings are here. So when you're doing your calculations, you have to reference everything to a common voltage and come up with a K bar. Uh, so based upon whatever your reactor test value is uh, in terms of voltage, you're gonna derate the capacitors to that value of K bar at that. Remember, the bar, the bar output of a capacitor varies by the voltage squared. So if I'm gonna operate a capacitor at half its voltage, I'll only get one fourth the K bar output. So it's the, it's the operating voltage divided by the rated voltage squared. All right. All right, so on this side, I have the volt, the capacitors all rated uh, either at 1650 volts uh, or 1500 volts. So I reference everything to 1000 volts on this side. This whole side, I reference the cable output to 1,000 volts, so I make it simple. The other side, you have to do the math. Uh, but here alone, I've had uh, 100, 200, 3, 4, 5, 6, about 600 K bar at 1,000 volts. If I'm gonna operate at, at uh, say, 500 volts, I would only get one fourth of that K bar output, 250 K bar. So there is some mathematics involved. When you look at these terminals, I drew a diagram of how these terminals are laid out. These are three terminal caps, but this is the arrangement. I have a capacitor here, a capacitor here, and then a common. So the common is acting as a neutral here, and that's why we connected these all together. 
This capacitor has a rating of 106 kVar. So that means that this is 53 kVar, 53 kVar, 53 plus 53 is 106. 106 kVar is the total rating. If you only needed, say, 53 kVar, you could undo these carefully, right? Don't over torque. Pull, them, pull this back and then reconnect. You could also take this off, okay, and either put it up here or completely remove it. All right, one of your choice. But be careful that any dangling cables uh, can be carrying voltage. So be careful of that. Uh, that if they're dangling, that to not have them dangle onto the can or onto the rack because the rack could then become energized and could become dangerous. So again, be careful. Uh, on this side, we, we, I also want to note that some volt, some capacitors are a thousand, some are 750 volt rated. You cannot bring the capacitor to a voltage rating that's higher than its rating. So look at your test voltage. If it's higher than 750 volts, this capacitor cannot be used. Okay, these are a thousand volts. For iron core harmonic filter reactors, it's going to be most often, you will not get to this value of voltage. Okay, you're going to be below this value of voltage. So, if you have questions, uh, just call me, 518-792-4776. That's my office phone, my cell phone, 518-369-7589. If you got any questions on how to set this up, uh, that's it. Thanks.